Hey guys, it's Shadow. Today I'll be taking you through all the Area 2 Civilization emblems, what they're based on, and any history you could find behind them. Aztecs. This is a design based on the Quetzal Feather or Aztec Shield, found in the Codex Mendoza. The Codex Mendoza is an Aztec manuscript written in the native Nahuatl language with translations into Spanish. Berbers. This emblem features the Berber letter Yaz, which in English is our equivalent of Z. This is used in the current Berber flag as well. Behind this is an Adaga, a traditional hard leather shield used by the Berbers. Bohemians. It is very similar to the coat of arms of the Bohemia region in the Czech Republic. The only major difference is the black bottom half of the Civ emblem. This coat of arms dates back to at least 1312, where a depiction of it is found in a Latin manuscript called the Passional of Abbas Cunegonde. Britons. This was the royal coat of arms of England between the years of 1198 to 1340, and then again between 1360 to 1369. It was originally adopted by Richard the Lionheart. Bulgarians. This emblem is based off of the coat of arms of Bulgaria from the late 1400s to the early 1600s. Burgundians. It uses the Cross of Burgundy, which in turn is based off of the Cross of St. Andrew. This was originally used in the 15th century by Burgundian dukes who ruled a large portion of eastern France as well as Belgium and the Netherlands. You may notice this cross is also used for the Spanish in AME 3, as the Habsburgs of Burgundian royalty came to power in Spain in 1516, and this emblem was used for the naval ensign. Burmese. This Burmese symbol appears to be based off of the state seal of British Burma, which was only made in 1939. However, green peacocks were the symbol of Burmese monarchs prior to British rule from 1824 onwards. Byzantines. The Byzantine emblem seems to most closely resemble the bottom right quadrant from the coat of arms of William IX from the Paleologist dynasty. This is very similar to the imperial banner of this family. The flag was depicted in a 14th century Castilian book. The insignia is on a kite shield, and kite shields were adopted in the Byzantine Empire around 900 AD. Celts. The symbol in the middle is called a triskelion, a common symbol for people of Celtic origin. The Celtic meaning behind this symbol can vary depending on the interpretation, but usually represents three intertwined subject matters, such as the earth, water and sky, or spiritual, physical and celestial worlds. This is placed upon a green buckler, and the colour green is often associated with people of Celtic origin, in particular Irish people. Chinese. This is a traditional knotted handicraft that was common in the Tang and Song dynasties between 960 and 1279 AD. This particular knot most closely resembles the Panchang knot. Colours in China have major significance, with red signifying happiness, success and fortune, and yellow signifying royalty. Humans. This emblem features the war mask associated with humans. The war mask was attached to the helmet and worn into battle to intimidate their opponents. Ethiopians. The inspiration for the Ethiopian emblem was significantly harder to find information on than most of the others. However, it does seem to be at least partially designed based on these traditional Amhara shields. The designs on these shields tended to be a lot more intricate than what is shown on this emblem though. Franks. The fleur de lis is prominently featured on this civ emblem, and this symbol is commonly found in French coat of arms. This particular coat of arm design is almost identical to the Royal French coat of arms, and is the current coat of arms from the Ile de France region. Fleur de lis translates to lily flower in English. Goths. The eagle featured on this shield is a symbol known as the Eagle Fibulae, and it was a pagan symbol of the sun originally used by Imperial Rome. It can be assumed this was later adopted by the Visigoths after the sack of Rome in 410 AD, as this artifact was found in a Visigothic gravestone in southwest Spain. Huns. The Hunnic emblem is rather simplistic compared to many others, but if nothing else, the Huns were known for their battle prowess on horseback. Incas. A drawing by Quechua nobleman called Guaman Poma featured the Incan king Topa Inca Yupanqui. He was holding a shield with a very similar design, although the coloration appears to have been left up to the game developer's whim, as its depiction is in black and white. Indians. I believe this emblem closely resembles this Hindu disc-shaped jewel. 
The inscription on the Siv emblem is the universal sign of a Hinduism, whereas the jewel itself has a different inscription. Italians. The Italian emblem appears to resemble the state flag of Milan, which makes sense as this region is known as Lombardy. The Lombards invaded northern Italy around 569 AD and eventually controlled the majority of Italy midway through the 8th century. This is before a Frankish invasion of 774. Japanese. The central piece of this emblem is the Imperial Seal of Japan, a depiction of a chrysanthemum. A very similar Imperial Seal was used by the Mukau Empire, now modern day India. Khmer. This emblem seems to most closely resemble one of the faces of Bayon in the temple complex Angle Wat. These faces have been associated with both Hindu and Buddhist traditions, and both religions have a rich history in the historical Khmer Empire. Koreans. The Sib emblem prominently features the Taegyu, which represents balance in the universe. To this day, the Taegyu is found on the South Korean flag. Lithuanians. The symbol is called the Columns of Jenna Minus, and has been used in Lithuania since at least 1397 by Pototus the Great. The earliest documentation of this symbol with a red background was drawn in an armorial by a Portuguese herald in 1416. It is still used in Lithuania today as a symbol of many Lithuanian armed service branches. The shield design appears to closely resemble these shields shown by a group reenacting 14th to 15th century Lithuanian infantry. Magyars. The red and white stripes represent the Arpad dynasty of Hungary, and this is placed on a special Hungarian style targ shield, normally used by light cavalry. These stripes are still featured on the left half of the modern Hungarian coat of arms. Malay. This emblem seems to be almost entirely based on this Malaysian brass shield. This shield is a 19th century piece. However, similar shields were thought to have been used by the Malaysian kingdoms in the medieval era. Malians. I couldn't find anything about the specific pattern, but Malians were known for having trouble patterns in their shield, which I believe this emblem tries to replicate. Mayans. This emblem is the Mayan horoscope representation of an eagle, the most powerful sign. Mongols. The inscription is the top half of the Soyombo, a special character of Sanskrit origin used in Mongolia since at least 1686. It means self-created. To this day, the full symbol is still used in the Mongolian flag. The Mongolians were largely Tengris until the 14th century, and blue was used to symbol the eternal sky, a still used theme in modern Mongolia. Persians. This emblem has the mythical bird Samal on it. It's a winged scaly creature with a dog's head, lion's claws, peacock's wings and tail. It was thought to possess knowledge from all ages, purify the land and help with fertility and was very significant in Persian culture. Similar to many other cultures, purple symbolized nobility, an ideal central to the Sassanids. The Sassanids are basically who the Persians were most likely based off of in AOE 2. Even the Sassanid state flag had purple on it. Poles. The crowned eagle in this emblem was in the coat of arms of the Kingdom of Poland and then the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, alongside an armed man on horseback. The crowned eagle is still used in the modern Polish coat of arms. Portuguese. The Portuguese emblem is pretty much identical to the 1481 coat of arms, and a version of this coat of arms is still used today. It also appears in the flag. Saracens. The term Saracen was widely used to cover Muslims of any Arab, Turkic, or Persian origin by Christian writers in Europe. The symbol prominently featured is the Islamic Rub el Hizb, where it is used to mark the end of a chapter in Arabic calligraphy and used to divide texts into passages in the Quran. Sicilians. The Sicilian Sib emblem is coloured based on the Hutzivil coat of arms, whom were the Norman family known for conquering Sicily. This is placed on a traditional Norman kite shield, and the Normans were well known for their wide usage of them. Slavs. This trident symbol is most closely associated with the Yaroslav the Wise and his descendants. Symbols similar to this are known as symbols of the Rurikids. Yaroslav was the third king of the Kievan Rus. His reign began in 1019 and ended upon his death in 1054. The colour blue was often associated with noble birth in the Russian language, as well as many other languages for that matter. The modern Ukrainian coat of arms is very similar to this emblem. Spanish. This is the Crown of Castile's coat of arms, which was formed by the Kingdom of Leon and Kingdom of Castile in 1230. The palace symbolises Castile, and the purple lion symbolises Leon. Tatars. Tatars is a term for populations of the former Golden Horde. The symbol was used on the Golden Horde's flag, 
and the gold around the emblem may be representative of the Golden Horde as well. The symbols bear resemblance to other Tamgus, a seal for Turkic peoples in the Mongol Empire. Teutons. The Teutons in this game are based off of the Germanic city-states in the Holy Roman Empire. This particular imperial coat of arms was used between 1308 and 1347, which is the main inspiration for the Sith emblem. The Imperial Eagle, as it is known, is still found in Germany's coat of arms today. Turks. The crescent and star is widely seen as a symbol of Islam from the medieval era onwards, but was especially used in the later years of the Ottoman Empire. The green in this emblem may have been used due to this Ottoman flag used between 1517 and 1793. Vietnamese. The Civ emblem may not actually represent them so well, as the flag it's based off of is widely regarded to be misattributed to the Vietnamese as their imperial flag between 1802 and 1885. Vikings. The raven in the centre of this emblem is based off of the raven banner, a symbol of Odin. It was known to be used from the 9th, 10th and 11th century, and thought to strike fears into the enemies by invoking Odin. The red shield encompassing this raven may have been coloured based on the Viking explorer, Eric the Red. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have information about these Civ emblems that I've missed, please share that in the comment section below. I provided a full bibliography of sources where I have all the information on for anyone interested in further reading. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.